Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the sixth annual Airport Modernization Summit, 2023. I Nilab from ADU is taking your interview today. Please introduce yourself and the company you are representing. Uh, hi, Nilab. Uh, myself Vinod Kumar Tripathi. I am representing here Airports Authority of India Aviation Safety Department, and I am working as a Joint General Manager in Aviation Safety. And we are looking after the safety of 50 plus airports plus uh, all air traffic services centers across India. What is your uh, organization's idea to participate in this summit? Uh, there are two two things. Like one is to know know the latest technologies uh, available or operating at different airports for passengers, uh, uh, say upliftment, passenger satisfaction, and uh, uh, making easy the life of passenger right from entry gate to the boarding. And second thing is to uh, meet people around. Uh, uh, aviation business uh, who are doing good at uh, aviation sector. Okay, sir. And what are, uh, are your expectations from the summit? Expectations are like uh, 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 once we meet people, definitely we know uh, things together in a better way and uh, uh, we can be more creative because creativity comes when two different streams meet at a point. Here we are meeting uh, airport operation uh, with IT infrastructure. So definitely some creativity has to come out and definitely we will see in the months to come that something new has born. Sure sir. And the world currently is looking towards India as it has become the fastest growing hub for aviation sector. How far do you see this growth to continue? Yeah, this growth is going to continue for at least next 10 years because India is uh, already has uh, fixed the targets for 2020. Uh, 2030, uh, 2035. So we are expecting almost 400 million passengers by 2030 itself. So that is a leap jump uh, more than twice, more than double uh, the current capacity. So we have to move fast in terms of building an airport, building an infrastructure, building uh, the IT uh, infrastructure into it. And definitely we have to move fast to catch up the demand. Okay, sir. And what is your company's contribution towards this growth? Uh, see, Airports Authority of India is the only entity operating air traffic services across Indian airspace and adjoining, say, uh, Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. So our airspace is huge in terms of air traffic services. Plus, we are the single uh, airport operator who are operating more than 50 plus uh, airports in India and developing more uh, regional connectivity uh, airports, regional airports and taking contract of uh, individual airports uh, even uh, if it is privately built, we are taking consultancy into it. So it's like a growing business for us. Okay, sir. And with the with the kind of population that our country has, which is vast and vivid, do you think modernizing the airports with digital technologies will be su uh, successful? Please consider the regional airports in your answer. See, digitalization has nothing to do with regionality. Digitalization is data. Data means uh, if, if you consider the data, it's a binary, 0101. 0, 1. So 0101 0, 1 has no uh, linguistic uh, preference, no regional preference. You have to convert everything, whether it is regional, cultural, into a data. And data has got no, no uh, special language. It's a digital. So digitization is only uh, uh, helping you out to uh, revise the process, to expedite the process, because uh, computerization helps in uh, the doing the things, doing the task which is repeatedly done. Repetition is quite fast in digital world. So when the passenger movement increases, when the airport movement increases, it is a repetition of the same job. So repetition, we are handling it to the IT and doing the innovative job for us. Okay, sir. And this will be my last question. What digitalization do you envisage for two-tier and three-tier airports under the Uran scheme? See, uh, digitalization is same, whether it is, uh, uh, I mean, operating at metro or operating at uh, smaller airports or tier 2, tier 3 cities, only thing is certain modules may not be there, like passenger ticketing, passenger manifestation, it is same whether it is a bigger airport or a smaller airport. But uh, other facilities which can be catered manually at a smaller airport like baggage handling and other things because the traffic scenario is not that high that you need time, you are time constant. So that can be uh, say handled manually and it 
saves the cost as well till you reach a, a break even point where manually is not cost effective then you can go digital out of that okay sir thank you sir thanks a lot thanks sir.